Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Jane Gardner, and this is Solopreneur Success Strategies with Jane Gardner on Strategy Sunday. Today is Sunday. Anyway, I think it's Sunday. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here, and I'll try and keep uh, talking so I'm not uh, wasting your time. I uh, am Jane Gardner. I work with my husband in our uh, home business in, for 20 years, and I came out onto the internet about three years ago to try and help others um, start their own home business. And uh, I have a Solopreneur Success Strategies, a weekly show, seven days a week, Mindset Monday, Get Your Message Out Tuesday for social media and branding. Wednesday is all about your customer. Thursday is all about your skills and knowledge you need. Friday is all about the free software you could use. And Saturday is about systems in your um, business that you can use to save you time, money, and especially time. And today is Strategy Sunday, where we talk about your business and your goals and your strategies and your business plan. And for an overview of what Strategy Sunday is all about, uh, we started off talking about your vision and goals for you and your business, uh, looking at um, figuring out what your goals were for your lifestyle business for the first year, third year, and fifth year. As well, um, this is about having a business that fits your lifestyle rather than uh, fitting your lifestyle to the business. So we, initially, we looked at how much time you wanted to spend on your business and what kind of um, strategies you wanted to use. Now we're talking about you and your business plan, but for me, um, the business plan is all about um, doing it yearly, always having a, a plan, uh, whether it's um, uh, for this year or for next year or for the next five years, and always be willing to change your plan as you go along. For example, uh, this month, Google Hangouts, which I'm using right now, is going to be moving to YouTube Live. So if I had a strategy using Google Hangouts, I better start changing my plans right now and go over to YouTube Live and figure out how to use it. As well, uh, Blab I Am Closed, which was also another video live streaming uh, broadcasting system a lot of people enjoyed. So if I had that in my strategy, I would have to change my um, strategy today. So in being on the internet, you always have to change your strategy. So it's always good to make sure you're always aware of what your strategy is. So why not work on a plan? So then we also will be looking at some of the business trends that may affect your strategy in the coming years. So of course, we just mentioned Google Hangouts, how it's moving and closing basically as and being something different over at YouTube Live and Blab I Am has closed and there's another social media site, uh, Zoo, TSU, that just closed. And of course, a lot of people, a lot of companies get uh, bought out by other companies and don't exist anymore. So anyway, that's for another day. Today we're looking at our um, Strategy Sunday and looking at our business plan. So before we do that, I better tell you about my offer. And that's always the first thing you should do is talk about what you can do for I can do for you. And that's at jgtips.com backslash plan, where you can help uh, get your strategy going on planning your business for this year, for next year, and for five years from now. And if you haven't got your business model yet, and if you haven't done your market research yet, and you're just a beginner, this would be a great uh offer for you to have a look at it's at jgtips.com backslash plan because you can also have a look at making your unique selling proposition which we talked about last week and setting up your long-term and short-term goals we'll talk about today then we'll be talking about your sales and marketing plan briefly and determining the obstacles you'll face and how to implement your business plan and how to make sure your business plan is working and keeping ahead of the times
So that's my offer at jgtips.com backslash plan. And now let's uh, start about talking about your business. So your business is like a stream. It flows, it can trickle, it can change direction, it can surge, it can get blocked, but it can never go back in time. So in your business, you're always moving forward. And as I mentioned, we've already looked at what we uh, overviewed on what Strategy Sunday is all about, about your vision, your goals, uh, your business plan, and how you change your business plan as the trends in business change as well. And then we had a look at previously uh, the diverse business model. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you could go have a look at uh, jgtips.com backslash YouTube. My Solopreneur Strategies, uh, Success Strategies channel will sh um, show you some of the previous episodes. You can go look at them and listen to about the diverse business model. Um, but basically, you need a business model which has a variety of ways of revenue coming in to your business in order to have a solid business model. So then we had a look at what kind of business model did you want to have. We looked at various business models and the pros and cons of them, and we wanted to make sure that you knew that your business model should work with your lifestyle, not you don't make your lifestyle fit into the business model. So otherwise, you just won't uh, continue on with it because you're not happy about what the business is doing to your lifestyle. So always be aware that your what your priorities are for your business as well as for your lifestyle. So then we started looking at what is a business plan and why do you need one. Um, it didn't have to be complicated. You can just map up your goals, your action plan, and your financial budget for the year, for three years, for five years if you wish, and what you would like it to be. And for some people, of course, they use their business plan and make a more rigid business plan to get funding, funding excuse me, or to get your business organized, to know what you need to get into uh, position, what systems you need in order to do your business model. And also, of course, you can always be evaluating your business plan to see where you're going wrong in terms of your focus and your budget. So in a business plan, um, you basically would have your description of what the business is. So for an online business, you would describe the business model that you would like to do. Then you, we looked last week at unique uh, value proposition that you could uh, develop for your business to show how you differentiate from your competitors. Today we're going to be talking about your business goals, and then after that we'll be talking about your sales plan, your marketing plan, your action plan, and then your financial forecast and budget. So those are the com key components of a business plan. But today we're going to be talking about your business goals. So how do you set your short and long-term business goals? So you need to have specific plans and goals, especially for the first year, in, in order to decide what direction you're going. Just like a stream, you need to know which direction you're going. So, and you, of course, you can always revise it and make it flexible over time. Um, but for some people, they like to make what they call SMART goals. And a SMART goal is... S is in specific, M is in measurable, A is in action oriented, R is in realistic, and T is in time based. So that's smart goals. So for example, what is a smart goal? It's specific. So you have to be specific about what you want to achieve. So let's say we want to in six months be able to have a revenue of oh five thousand um, uh, dollars a month. Uh, then you have to go back from that specific goal and decide how you're going to get to that goal. So it has to be measurable so that they're easily tracked. So, of course, you would divide it up into a weekly revenue. And also, uh, if you had goals as to how much uh, content you had in your business, uh, what uh, were your goals were for getting up a website you know, or producing the product, etc. These are all measurable things that you should have made a goal as to when they will be completed and so that you can easily uh, measure um, how you're doing on getting those goals done and you can easily track uh, how you're doing. So then of course they have to be action oriented. So you have to have goals that you can attach specific actions to. So as I mentioned you have to have a goal for example of getting a website up say within uh, two weeks 
and then having a, a product within a month and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So you, as well as, of course, having a revenue goals and expenses goals because you still have to have expense goals of keeping it to a minimum and knowing where your expenses are going and that would be all in our financial budget. But it, you also want to make sure that you're not spending too much money. So they have to be realistic goals. So you don't set yourself up for failure with impossible goals. So two weeks to create a website is, is quite a reasonable goal, especially if you're starting from scratch and in terms of what you want to say, who you, who's your market, et cetera, et cetera. The actual physical putting up of a website doesn't take that long, but in terms of getting the hosting in the domain and et cetera, et cetera, you, it could take two weeks. So always make sure your goals are realistic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, make it a time based one. As I mentioned before, uh, make a time frame on your goals. So you want to make sure that you have, um, say, two weeks as a goal for your, when getting your website up, would be your uh, time framed goal. So then you want to s decide which goals you want to set. So you want to start with your long term goals and then go backwards. So start with your biggest goals and then work backwards. Backwards. So for example, if you wanted to make a revenue of 100000 at the end of the year, then work it down into a monthly goal and a weekly goal and then decide, well, and what kind of things that I could create that would put uh, the revenue, be created that would have revenue that could add up to the 100000 by the end of the year. And that would help you to parcel out as to what your uh, goals are in terms of measurable um, and time action based. So if you need to get your product out by um, in order to create it in a month, then you need to work back from that and decide how you can make some extra revenue during that time in order to pay for the expenses of creating that product, for example. So it's very good to, as we mentioned before at the very beginning, to start with your goals and a vision for your lifestyle business. So then you can work backwards and, and decide um, how you're going to get to that vision by working with your revenue and working with your actual process that, and the measurable steps that you're going to take and the thing, and then work it from backwards from the uh, long-term goal. But of course, then you'll see you've got to just make from the long-term goal, go backwards and do your year goal and your six-month out goal and your monthly goals just to um, and write them all down uh, so that you can see if you're on track to get to your long-term goals. And then, of course, the immediate goals that you set for yourself every week and every day. These are why a lot of people have uh, day planners or action uh, plans and goal um, setting because then they know that they've um, got to one of their goals and they're moving forward. So what you want to do is put down a short-term goals as well as your long-term goals. Write them all out and then you'll know where you're going. So there are road, goals are a roadmap to your success. So setting and meeting goals show you how much you are achieving. So I... We are human beings, so of course we always set our goals, I think, beyond what we can reasonably expect, but that's a good thing because we're reaching towards those goals. And then don't be disappointed if you don't quite get to those goals, but if you if you have it written down in a business plan with your long-term uh, and then short-term goals set in terms monthly, uh, weekly, and long-term, then you know that uh, whether or not you're actually moving forward in your business and creating uh, what you need in your business in order to move forward or if you're stuck. So <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so in your business plan, uh, let's just quickly go back to that. Uh, you can then, of course, have your business model and knowing your business model and what type of relative revenue you can be making from that business model. A work on ways that you can build out your business goals in terms of developing a diverse model for your business with the excuse me, diverse forms of revenue. 
And of course, working on your unique value proposition, knowing how you differentiate from everyone else. And then once you know what you want as your goals uh, monthly and uh, every six months, then you can start working on your sales plan and your marketing plan in terms of the production of your product or service and then your um, promoting of that production. And then calendars become critical at, <clears throat> when you put together your plan. But without the plan and without your SMART goals, uh, you won't be able to um, even go anywhere. You'll just be wandering and not focusing on the direction that you need to go. So let's uh, just have a brief look again. So we, as I mentioned about my offer, the HTTP uh, colon colon backslash backslash jgtips.com backslash plan. We go through the whole process of defining everything and looking at your short-term and long-term goals. And then, of course, developing your sales and marketing plan and also finding out ways that you can research and find out exactly how you are doing in your plan as you go along and estimate of course your financials as well as your budget for your business plan and then so next week we'll be looking at the sales plan for the year and um, then after that the marketing plan and um, once you have now that you know your short-term and long-term goals you should be able to figure out how many sales you need to make each month in order to get to moving forward in your business in terms of your sh short-term and your long-term goals. So to catch up with the Strategy Sunday trainings that we talked about before, the diverse business model and the various others, the pros and cons of certain online business models, etc., you can go to Solopreneur Success Strategies playlist on my YouTube channel at http colon backslash backslash jgtips.com backslash YouTube. So thank you for listening, and I hope there was some use to this. Um, basically, you should be able to create a plan, and which is, can be handwritten and always flexible in terms of your business. But you have to at least have some kind of focus because you always have to be, as they say, moving forward because you can't move backward in your business, right? <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs and also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs and over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer so welcome thanks for listening and i hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show on mindset your customer getting your message out on social media and on your website talking about strategies talking about business systems talking about all kinds of things including the skills you need as a solopreneur so please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs thank you